The Knights will host the Eels on Saturday afternoon in round 17 of the Telstra Premiership. I'm Renee Garten and I'm joined by Josh Mansour. And both teams come into this round refreshed from the bye. And we're going to start with the Knights first. They're shaking up their halves again in another effort to break their three-game losing streak. Um, making his NRL debut here in Australia. We've got Will Price coming in. There's a lot of hype about him at the moment. A lot of hype, not only from here, but overseas as well. Um, obviously an England uh, product. Uh, playing the halves, uh, the great Joey Johns has massive wraps on him, so that has to, you've got to have a lot of confidence out of that as a kid. So it'll be interesting. I think it's an interesting time as well for the Knights. Um, it's always exciting when you get one of your teammates um, given the opportunity to debut, so I'm sure they'll get around him for that. Um, and a few other changes, or a few other people that we've seen really step up, particularly in Ponga's absence. Mm. Uh, young Fletcher Sharp, he's yeah. been fantastic. Yeah, so well, the, the Knights got luxury in the fullback position, right? Um, they obviously had uh, Kane Ponga and Sharp was actually injured at the time, so David Armstrong has come in and obviously started his NRL career, which has been outstanding for him. He's recently signed for the Lee Leopards as well, so uh, yeah, Fletcher Sharp to come back in, uh, I think he's a, a young, outstanding talent for the, for the Knights, and uh, while Caelan Ponga is out, they can have full trust in Fletcher doing a job for him. All right, well, turning to the Eels now, they're currently sitting 17th yeah. on the ladder and they've only won one of their last eight games as well, too. Moses has been named to back up after a sensational origin display last night performance. as well, too. They're going to be relying quite heavily on him um, in much-needed organisation in that if they do rest him, where do they look to? And then also looking into that, we see Trent Barrett blooding some very new young Arthurs. Oh, the Eagles side. I think uh, the history pretty much says it, uh, speaks for itself. Like whenever Mitch Moses doesn't play, the percentage of Parramatta Eels are pretty slim, uh, winning are pretty, pretty slim. So I think Mitch needs to back up. Um, you know, you have to think that Parramatta like their chances to try and fight as much as they can to, to make uh, the top eight. Um, again, uh, Trent Barrett as well. There's a lot of pressure on him. I'm sure he wants to lead the club uh, in the following seasons ahead. And um, but from all reports, the players love Trent. Um, I had him as an attacking coach. You know, he's, he was outstanding. But again, being a head coach is a completely different beast. So, uh, yeah, the players, I think uh, uh, it's fair to say they've been underwhelming the Parramatta Eels this year. Um, obviously, Brad Arthur got sacked, so there's a lot of added distraction there. But yeah, it's again for the for the Eels, it's now or never. They need We've to win seen another game. Arthur come into the side as well too. Another son of uh, Brad oh, Arthur and Dylan Brown said he's basically exactly like his dad. He's very serious, very footy focused, and that's him. That he's Awesome. And I think in that team dynamic, you need a player like that. You know, there's a lot of characters in that team, so uh, it'll probably be a refreshing face. Uh, someone that's, you know, always over-prepared and uh, hopefully it rubs off into, a, into his teammates. All right, who are you picking for this one? Yeah, this is an extremely hard game. Um, I'm going to lean towards the Parramatta Eels. Um, I hope, hoping Mitch Moses does back up um, after Origin. Uh, he's full of confidence at the moment. I'm sure his teammates will be confident on his return. So let's go for Parramatta Eels. All right, sticking solid. Thank you very much, Josh. If you want to see this match live, head to nrl.com slash tickets. If you can't get to the game though, don't worry. You can check it out on Foxtel, Sky New Zealand or KO. Kickoff is at 5.30pm.